not only can business center create robust data and robust models, whether it's a road corridor or a site or a subdivision, you can also publish this data. And to publish it with business center, you can create plan and profile sheets, plan sheets, or cross section sheets. And the process is quite simple. You first need to set up a template and there's some pretty easy to use tools here that allow you to create your title block. So when we say your template, basically it's your title block. So in this case, I have a plan and profile, a template where I can set the settings, control the profile diagram and the plan view or plan diagram, as well as all the labels and grid and uh, other information such as the title block uh, data as well. So you can use this editor to come in and set up with the settings. It takes a little bit, but once you get it done, you only have to do it one time and you can use it on every future project. The same thing would apply to your section. So if I just right click on the section template, I can come in here and uh, do the same thing where I can come in and you know set the configuration for my you know cut area, fill area. I can apply the colors and the shading and the hatching. Um, as well as any other information that I want to put on my sheets. Then all you really need to do is have a corridor. You don't have to have sections or cut sections or anything like that. You just have to make a corridor. Uh, in this project, uh, a couple other things that you would set up is you would have your general information that shows your company name, your user information, and the general information about the project because then it would use this data to populate the fields in your title block. And then, like I said, you just have a corridor. So in this example, I have a uh, corridor. It's a simple road corridor. It's got uh, some paving, some super elevation applied, which you can see down here in the super elevation diagram. Um, I've got a profile, some profile information here. Again, these are just views. So if you look at your plan view, if I zoom extends, I don't have to create a profile sheet or a profile view or anything within my plan view or create cross sections. All I need to do is have a corridor, and that's that's key. Once you have your, your title block set up and put into your project, and you can easily drag and drop that from um, a, a directory structure. So if I was to come in and click on dra drafting templates, you would save that template here into a you know, stored location. You just left click and drag and drop that into your plan view. And now the settings that you configured for your plan profile, cross sections, whatnot, um, would automatically be accessible. So once you do your road, in this case I have a two mile road basically, so it's um, about 10,000 uh, feet. You basically just come over to your plan profile or sections, right click and tell it to build the sheets. It's going to go through and you can see it's building the sheets down here. So depending on how long the project is, it you know, may take a little bit longer, but what will happen is it's going to cut the profile up, it's going to cr cut the uh, plan view up, and it's going to automatically generate the sheets. So you can see now it's created uh, 28 sheets. It gives me a station uh, information and station information. And all I have to do is select one of those sheets if I want to look at it and tell it to uh, create a sheet or a sheet view. So here's the sheet view for that particular uh, section. You can see that it's got uh, all the general information. It's got the name. It's got your sheet count. Uh, so whatever you set up in your title block would apply here. Now if I want to see the other sheets, you can see there's a drop down here. And actually I'm going to just float this view so that it uh, can zoom into a little bit more. And basically you just come down here and I can click on any other sheet. I can use my down arrows and my up arrows to um, move from sheet to sheet. So I can just kind of scroll through each sheet. You can also plot these simply by right clicking on your plan set and tell it to um, uh, print the plan set and with that I can either print the entire set or I can print and publish individual sheets. For the cross sections same thing I just come in here right click and tell it to build sections. So this is nice because I don't have to actually create or draw the actual sections. As soon as you create those sheets I can come in here right click and do the same thing view that sheet I'm just going to float this view so um, I can see these a little bit better. And the same thing is I can come down here and I can pick on each individual sheet or uh, take a look at um, them individually. So I can come in here, you can see the cut area, fill area, it's got my hatch pattern. Uh, they've all been 
um, set up and applied. So if I make any changes to my road corridor, then these sheets will update and you can just rebuild them and they will automatically uh, get repopulated with the information. On each sheet, I can draw and add information to the, this uh, actually sheet itself. So if there's something unique on this sheet that doesn't apply on another sheet, you just simply add it or edit it here. So that's how quick it is. It's Again, the key is in the setup, obviously. It takes a little bit of time to configure and set up, get things to look the way you want. There's a lot more functionality and features that can be applied, but I just want to give you a quick overview and show you the capabilities of publishing plan sets, whether it's a plan and profile sheet or a cross-section sheet uh, within Business Center.